Rip. All right, guys, uh, with this wind and the blackbirds all around me, um, I'll take a minute to go over how we do our setups here, our tree stand setups on the farm. So for one, safety line, harness. Um, there's nothing cool about falling out of a tree stand. And this one, we're at, this is a 20 footer, so 20 foot hang on stand. Nothing cool about falling out. So wear your harness, put a safety line on. Uh, we obviously like to have our bow off to the left side since we're right handed just easy to grab it, be able to swing. Um, I'll show you the view from this stand. Pretty wide open. Logging road right here. Gets a little bit thicker that way. There's a valley down over there. There's a smaller valley here and then food plots up there. But um, we like having the bow on the left side. And then what we always do, no matter what, our tree stands, here on the farm at least, are always hung in double trees. So we got this tree, that tree behind me here where the stand's on. Because with the camera set up, I like being able to have my camera on my right hip so I can just film either sitting or standing. All I gotta do is just grab the camera, move it to where I wanna put it. I got my hand controls remote over here. Um, it makes it real easy. My camera has a feature where all I gotta do is flip the screen and it's on, ready to go. So, when a deer walks in, all I have to do is stand up Slowly maneuver the camera to where I want to be. Zoom in, record. Everything is controlled right there. Um, and then also with a double tree, it makes it so you can put your pack on your right side low so I can shoot over it. But all my stuff's right down here on the right side. I usually hang my camera, which is the GoPro, second angle camera up high so it gets a view down, looking down hopefully get a second angle of the shot um, that's basically how we do it so obviously with the home farm we have a little bit more of a selection of trees and we do our public land hang and bang stuff if I can get in a double tree like this that's awesome but it just doesn't always exist where you need to hunt so sometimes you gotta hunt on a single tree and if you do that um, then you have to take this and put it behind you here and not ideal but it's a, it does work and my arms long enough to where I can reach it around and it's no big deal but I prefer the double tree. This is how we have all our setups. Also, if we uh, have a cameraman, he can either hang on the back side of the second tree, or usually we'll just hang him on the back side of that tree, off to a little bit of an angle so that he can film the hunter from behind. But that's how we do it.